Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have purchased a few bits and pieces. So from Hobbycraft, I've got the 102 gems. These are the sparkles. And then 384 gems. This is the shaped gems. Now the reason I've got these ones is because they are heart shaped. And you can see there, they're all separate, which I prefer than being on like a continued strip that, you know, it's okay, but you have to, if I just want that one, I have to cut it. Whereas with these, each one has got its own little piece of adhesive. So they're really good. And these ones I already have in the smaller stones, but I love the colors. It's like a midnight going into this, you know, other kind of blue navy color. And then you've got the mauves and the purples down there. Um, and again, they are just really nice and they're all faceted as well. You can just see there. So really, really nice. So I've got those two and they were only a pound each. Hobbycraft do have quite a large amount of product that's in sale at the moment. So those were on offer. Then I went to the good old charity shops. I go in them every week um, because I always find, you know, some good handy things, I think anyway, but this was really good. So this is a roll. Now I've looked on eBay and there is a company selling these exactly the same. Um, for what I can kind of roughly see how long this is, this is anything from 15 to 25 pound and I paid one pound 50. And basically they are just larger square foam adhesives, but they're a bit thinner, but I thought they're gonna be great for when I'm doing my decoupage and just when I'm sticking down any of kind of my mats and my layers, cause you see me always using foam adhesive. Um, but for the amount I've got here, there's absolutely tons on here. Although with the amount of things that I make, it probably won't last me too long. But um, yeah, I picked those up. So I will share a link to them, but unfortunately I did get a bargain here because from what I've seen for these exact ones on eBay, they're, they're rather expensive. So I'm hoping that they're gonna be super sticky for that price because I haven't used them yet. But um, yeah, you can see there's absolutely tons on there. So that was a good find. Also in the charity shop, I picked up these here. Now I know I have a stamping platform, but sometimes when you just want to just stamp like a tiny little heart or just a really small sentiment or something, I don't always want to get my stamp positioner out. And I know that with certain stamps and with the black ink that I use, I'll get a good impression first time. So I actually found these um, in the same charity shop. I thought I'm just going to buy both because the rockers I've never used. Now I know that the Crafters Companion do block rockers or rocker blocks or something like that and there's a the crafters companion purple color these are just clear i'll take them out of the packaging in a minute they're by quicks stamps i i'm guessing they're old i'll have a look inside there and then these ones here are from america um by apple pie memories so anybody any of my um us followers so it's here made in the usa apple pie memories they've never been used they're still in the packaging there's no date or anything on this but this size here is perfect for my actual um brand branded stamp that i stamp on the back of all of my cards so i prefer the ones where they don't have any lines through them um so these being completely clear are great so again you can just see there just how nice those are really really nice really thick and um, yeah, solid. So yeah, that one there will stay out because that will have my my stamp on it. Um, but yeah, two pound they, those were. And these are the rockers. So it works exactly the same way. So you pop your stamp. So I'll bring in this stamp here because this was another stamp set that I purchased from a charity shop. This is a old, um, it's by Trimcraft. It's Me To You collection. And I used to have Me To You bears when I was younger. But these are just Mother's Day ones, but there are a few on here. If I pop it on. That's a bit better. So here you've got with love from me to you. So that can be used for anybody. Best mum, happy Mother's Day. But I liked those fonts um, for my beautiful mother. So those three are obviously, you know, they are occasion specific. But this one here, you've got thank you for all that you do. So I thought that was a really nice one to use on just a normal thank you card. So there are some stamps that I got. But just to show you how the rockers work, you just pop your stamp down. There are lines on this one, so it will help you to line it up like so. I've got a bit of scrap card here and let's ink this one up. First time using this, never done it before, but you're to hold these pieces here and basically rock it like so. Yeah, that's really nice. Gone a little bit squishy there on those ones, so I think I need a bit more practice. Um, I have seen some people's comments with these is that you do have to watch your pressure, especially if you're using these stamps of silicon. So they're not photopolymer, so photopolymer are a little bit more um, robust and harder and they don't tend to squash, whereas silicon will squash. So if you do put too much pressure on, so if I ink that up on there, let's try it a little bit lighter. 
yeah, it's better, that is better. It's just going to take some practice, but I thought I'd try them out. I'm not too sure about them, but it's handy for when I do any craft classes and things like that. See, that one's getting better. I think it is just a matter of just rolling it. The, the block kind of does everything for you. See, it is getting better. All of them are, are stamping okay. Um, even that one where it is a bit thicker, that's all it is, it's thicker. It hasn't kind of ruined the image in any way. Um, but I love the, the font on that. I think it's really nice. Whereas if I was to stamp this with, let's use the clear block. I'll push it down with the ink pad there because I haven't cleaned it. Let's flip this one over. With these, you just apply the same pressure all over which is my kind of preferred way. So there we go. You've got an equal, even, even. <laughs> You've got a nice, even kind of pressure over all of that there. So yeah, these are probably the ones I'm gonna to go to a bit more, but I'd love to see what other people think about any, you know, rocker blocks or blocker rockers or whatever they're called. Um, but they are handy to keep. They will definitely come in handy for something, no doubt. Then I picked up some buckles. These were, these were a pound. And you know I like to use this kind of hardware when I make some of my gift bags. So I just thought these would come in handy. They're gonna look great, put some ribbon through or even some cardstock and have that hanging down. These two are the same, so that's quite handy to have those two, but these lovely big ones, I mean, that would look lovely on a Christmas project as like Father Christmas's trousers or even a Father's Day gift. You could have it as the belt buckle or something, which it obviously is, but you know what I mean. So yeah, if you ever see anything like this, you know, look in the haberdashery sections, um, go into any of those kind of shops as well if you don't have any charity shops, but they, these kind of things are usually pretty cheap anyway. So yeah, I got those, what, one, two, three, four, five for a pound, so I thought that was okay. And then these were in, um, these weren't in a charity shop, these were in um, a shop I put on my Facebook uh, page last week that me and my mum went to Totnes. Totnes is just a really nice um, old kind of um, historic town really, it's just got a lot of independent shops, it's on a you know, it's got a nice little high street, lots of good food places, but there was a lady there who's got a really lovely shop, um, all with like kind of home interiors and things like that, but she had this kind of bowl and it had loads of vintage images. And I saw these and I thought, I'm pretty sure these are Tim Holtz, um, his ideology, I think it is, range. Um, and I've always admired them and I do like using these kind of things in maybe some more of my mixed media or even scrapbook layouts and things like that. And some of them are really, really fun. Like, look at this one here, look at his face. Um, really, really good. I love this one here of the two sisters. So that would be quite nice, you know, like I said, on a scrapbook layout or even a card, a sister card. But there's also smaller versions of the same ones there. But um, I went into Hobbycraft yesterday or the day before and they've got these in a pack in there for 6 99 and it is Tim Holtz so yeah that was a good bargain like that one there as well and it's a nice idea with any of your with your own family photos you know if you scan them through on your brother scan and cut um, and cut them out you can have these so it's a you know it is a nice thing to have and I'm probably going to do that as well but some of them are good and there's the one with him sat down here yeah, you can actually sit him on something um, anyway they were a pound for all of those so I got myself a bargain and then I picked up these. Now these are, I think, from Ikea, but maybe older styles because the ones that I've seen online, I looked up the other day, are taller than this, slightly taller, but the same width. And they are basically for holding like your spices in the kitchen because all of these were brand new and they had a white kind of shaker plastic inside. Um, but these were from a charity shop and I got all of them for two pound. And I know at the moment in on Ikea, they've got two for 175. So again, I've got myself a bargain, but I am going to get more because these sit perfectly on the trays that I have on my pegboard. So in here are lots of my sequins. I do have a few other sequin um, colours to pop in these jars when I get them because I know I've shared before these here, which I love, but the problem I have sometimes is when I make a shaker card and I want to use all of that colour, you have to try and cover all of these bits with your hands to make sure none of the other colours kind of fall out. So I'm now um, decanting all of this into these things and I just think it looks really nice as well because you can really see what you've got. I mean, for example, I forgot I had them and they're really nice. Um, like discs these are all beads tons and tons of beads so they're going to look great in a shaker card and things like this I purchased and then they kind of got pushed to the back a bit um, so it's nice now that I can actually see them in front of me all lined up and they look really pretty too so yeah that was another good bargain 
And then finally, um, I received this really lovely package from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies. Now, Louise um, has a really lovely online store and she specialises in many of her products are from out of you know the UK so there's a lot of European companies a lot of American um you, you name it really they're just she's got all she's got a really nice mix of people on there and that's where I purchased the Minte um, papers which were from Poland so that's an example there um and what she has is she has a thing where she does a monthly kit anyway so that's something I'll share her um YouTube sorry I'll share her website and you can have a look at all the other things she has but she, one of the things she does do along with the shop is she has a craft kit but also she does a lucky dip now the lucky dip is something that you can basically email her say that you would like to receive a lucky dip and you can list your likes and your dislikes so if there's a certain color you don't like if there's maybe a certain um even like a brand that maybe you don't like or certain embellishments like you might not like washi tapes for example um you might only like to use pre-made die cuts or you might not like polka dots or you may not like gold hearts you can basically just kind of list the things that you do and you don't like and Louise will work really hard to put together a pick and mix for you of you know a variety of things and then send that to you now, now she does offer international shipping and what she will do is she will take it to the post office see what the final price is email email you to tell you what it is and then you could decide whether you want to proceed or whether you'd just like to have a refund so, so I spoke with Louise gave her an idea of the kind of things I like she already knows what I kind of um, enjoy anyway and this is what she sent me so I've got this washi tape here this is a doodle bug designs um, and it's just this pretty floral print here then I've got these here, so these are shaped sprinkles, heart of gold, you get 33 again by Doodle Bug Designs Inc, but they are like a, um, kind of like a soft plastic, I don't know what that material is, I know I've mentioned it before because I've had other things similar, um, but these are really pretty, I like those a lot. Then I've received this here, now I do love stickers and things like this and these will get used in scrapbook layouts, but I love the colours, love the alarm there, love that yay and it's got like a glitter around it so it's framed. Hooray for cake, you've got the little hat there that's just moved a bit. You've got, um, yeah, the alarm there, make a big wish, happy birthday. So great for my cards, you'll see these feature. Um, and they're gonna be making some nice projects using this um, that she sent me. But on the back there, look, what great inspiration with that tag. Um, and it's got the, the kind of flags there and everything and the pom-pom trims. This is very much my style, so I really liked those. So this is a Vicky Bootin sticker sheet. You've got 102 stickers here, front and back. Again, great for your scrapbook layouts because you've got your 12 inch trims here. Um, but you've got the camera, which I always like to use. Got little tabs here, so these are great for your planners. So they can really be mixed across the two and also used on cards. That flower would look lovely stuck down um, or even you know stick it onto another card and then fussy cut around it. Love the bunt in there, that's really nice, it's nice and big. The old Polaroid camera there and just some really nice little sentiments and so really like them. And then I've got all these papers. So these are all individual papers that you can buy. Like I said, she has tons of stuff over there. So do go and have a look. So this is a Paper House Productions. This is Paradise Found. And you've got this kind of uh, pineapple print on the front with the flowers and then this really kind of magnified leaf design, which I like. I think that's really cool. Then I'll pop that on that side. Then you've got this one here. You know I love my floral prints, so this one's really nice. This is by Simple Stories. It's called Love and Adore. And then there's the other side there. So I really like them. This one's beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I didn't need to look at the branding strip, but it's Prima. Um, you can kind of spot Prima products when you see them. Look at that foiling, absolutely beautiful. So this is 2018 Prima. This is called Flirty Fleur Collection something floral really really love that and then the other side there you've got the stripe so yeah that's definitely going to feature on something cool then this is another prima one look absolutely beautiful close up there you can see how lovely is that rose kind of spray there just love it and then on the other side you've just got this really nice kind of romantic script which is pretty then i've got this one love it this is by jean hadfield this is called my bright life and I love that. That is just so cool. That is definitely going to be used in the scrapbook layout. Um, and then on the other side, you've just got the green there. So again, complement each other really nicely. Then I've got the pink paisley. I love Paige Evans. And this is the, what's this one called? Pick me up. So you've got the ice cream or milkshake, sorry, on that one. And then just that really nice kind of sea 
kind of blend there on the back. Really, really nice. This one, this is another Paige Evans. This is by Pick Me Ups. This is part of the same collection as that one. But here you've got the stork, I think that bird is. Looks like a stork. Or it could be some kind of like heron or something. Anyway, it's one of those birds that hunts for fish and then dives in the water. Let me know what one it is. <laughs> um, and then again, it's got that really nice kind of pink blended wash kind of background there. So that's those two. This one here is One Canoe 2 and this is Hazelwood and this is called Flock. Again, I love butterflies. Louise, you must have heard me say how much I love butterflies. This one is probably going to get fussy cut. I have an idea to just fussy cut every single butterfly on this page and then use it on a layout. Right, and that's the back there. So it's always nice when you have these really lovely prints on one side and then just a, a pattern or something a bit more subtle on the other because I don't, you know, don't feel bad cutting this paper knowing that it's just that on the other on this side. Although it's great, it's a chevron print and that will be lovely, but pretty much everybody's going to want to use this side than the other so it makes it easy for you to decide so that's those so I got one two three four five six seven eight twelve by twelve sheets now the favorite part for me from this kit is this here now this is again from Pink Paisley this is Paige Evans is um collection sorry with Pink Paisley and this is pick me up again but this is a sheet of acetate and this is what it is. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. Now the tutorial where I'm gonna be doing something with this, I think might have already gone up earlier today by the time this video goes up. So you may well have already seen this, but, and I'll be raving about it in that video as well. But isn't that gorgeous? It is absolutely beautiful. I love the foiling. I love that it's on the acetate. Love the designs and love the colors are just, yeah. I love it, Louise, thank you so much. And if I pop it against the pink here. So this is the nice thing about this. So it's, it's you know, don't look at it as necessarily a kit, look at it more as a lucky dip. So it's just, you know, a selection of products sent to you. Um, but lots of this goes together. I think because I love bold and bright colors, there's lots of these things that I can incorporate together. Um, but do go and check out her kits as well. And um, although there is a lot of it kind of driven more towards the mixed media, there are tons of paper packs, tons of embellishments, tons of washi tapes, all those things that we as card makers enjoy. So I think it's just nice to find these other smaller businesses. And also the fact that Louise is bringing newer things to the UK for us to see. Because for us in the UK, there is not a lot of online um, sellers that sell product from outside of the UK so um, it, uh, that's why I love going over there and, and having a look and, and finding new things like I said those Minte papers and a few of you have already said how much you love them and that you've got some so yeah so that I just wanted to show you an example really of what you can get and how it all works. There you have it guys that's a few of the bits that I've got this week but um, yeah it was mainly really to talk to you about that really nice um, lucky dip which I'm yeah, hopefully you liked the kind of home decor piece that I done with the, the acetate sheet there today. Um, these I'm going to get some more of. I'll share links to these ones. So I think they're really handy because I love when you can see what you've got. I don't really put things away in boxes and things like that. Everything you can see in my room, which is much, much easier for me. Um, and then that adhesive roll, which was great. And obviously the embellishments and those... Um, stamping blocks and stuff so yeah hope you like it as always i'll share as many links as i can below and i will be back tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye